All right, welcome to my first YouTube video. I know there's been a lot of these videos out there on YouTube, but I actually have watched a bunch of them, and this is kind of what inspired me to try my first hand at this as well. Um, look, I, I got into cards to collect them. Uh, I learned early on not to collect cards to make money. Um, I, I really do enjoy the thrill of trying to find the good cards. Um, I also buy cards from a local uh, card shop here directly out of the case. Um, I've learned also sometimes it's better just to go buy the card you want versus trying to find it. But I do still enjoy the hunt. And and I know that I've, out of the top Series 1 um, packs I've gotten so far, I actually have gotten some pretty good hits. So uh, I think my best year-to-date hit is a Ronald Acuna Jr. postseason relic autograph card which is uh one of 25 so i think i looked it up on ebay it's going for around 350 dollars. so not a bad find for a four dollar pack but i decided to go ahead and buy a retail box uh, i seen these online and i wanted to buy something so i went on amazon and got this so this is 24 packs so roughly 16 cards per pack and this costs around i think 50 dollars and I just wanted to get a box to kind of get a little bit larger quantity to see if I could hit in that box. So um, I wanted to open it with you, and I know I enjoy watching these and seeing what kind of cards kind of come up and seeing uh, what kind of cards are inserts and maybe some autograph cards in here. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and open the box here, and we can go ahead and see together. Um what all is in. Now, I know a lot of these base cards aren't worth a ton. You know, I'm typically looking for certain players. Um, and let's get that out of the way. I'm typically looking for certain players and wanting to um, hit those, you know, autograph cards or relic cards are really cool. What I'm impressed with was when I grew up, I grew up in the 80s and 90s. So um, I have found that the, you know, the oversaturation of cards back in that time period, the quality of the cards weren't very good. Um, they were mass produced. What I really appreciate about the card and what kind of got me back into card collecting now was the fact that they are making quality cards and they're doing short prints and super short prints and uh, numbered series. So you know you're kind of getting a rare card off the bat. Uh, even though these are these are a lot of base cards and again, these aren't really worth a ton. Um, you know, you're, you feel like you still have a chance to go in there and find something that is um, worth something, so. All right, first pack, let's see what we got in here. So, oh, we got a little Cody Bellinger. That's not a bad card. Ryan Braun. Um, looking for, you know, this, what I found is the Gavin Lux and you have the uh, Bo Pachette, Bo Pachette, sorry, um, are ones you're looking for in these rookie cards. So I've got a few of those already. Um, but I do like these cards. I like the, the photography I've, I've seen number of videos that point out the photography. I really do think that they've gotten a lot better at that. So there's an Anthony Rendon um, World Series card. Not a bad card there. Got a little Hank Aaron Decades card. I kind of like how they throw back these two. You know, finding a Hank Aaron card nowadays is kind of rare, but just having these cards be brand new and have that commemorate the 50s is kind of nice. Um, Adam Jones. I like These are kind of cool cards too. They're kind of different. They have the kind of a more of a kind of throwback feel to them, and then you have uh, yeah, so not a bad card, you know, not a bad deck there. Let's go in there, pack here. I just enjoy you know being able to look through these and see some potential of having the um, possibility of hitting on some of these cards here. All right, on top here. Oh, there's a good rookie card right there. That's not bad at all. The Gold Cup as well. That's a really good card. I'm going to put that off the side here, kind of keep a little tally of our, our decent cards. You know, Clayton Kershaw, not a bad card there. You know, whenever I, whenever I look at this card here, at first I always think it's Mike Trout just because it has that kind of build to him, but then I look at the name, so that always throws me off there a little bit too. 
Um, these cards are all turned around in this deck. Sometimes I found Christian Yelich's card, not a bad card there either. Uh, I found that that usually has a good card and they're all turned around. I don't know if you found that same thing or not, but um, see, they have these nice 35, 35th anniversary cards. Max Scherzer, that's not a bad card right there either. I kind of, Max Scherzer is a good player. I got Reese Hoskins there. And yeah, so we got the uh, Alvarez rookie card on that one. Not a bad hit on that one there. Up and coming player at the Astros. And then all right. I always like to find the, the players that I enjoy collecting as well. They may not be worth anything, but one thing I learned early on, the Kyle Lewis rookie card right there, that's a great card. I'm a, from Seattle. I live in Seattle here, so I'm a little bit of a homer when it comes to some of the Mariners, but he's been in our minor, minor league system for quite a while, had some injuries he played through, and finally got called up last year, and he had, did had a really good streak last year. Um and I'm really looking forward to as soon as the season starts. Um, there's an Aaron Judge card right there. Not a bad card there as well. I'll put that down here in a little pile. I'm a little more... Um, it's a rookie card there. I'm a little more conservative when it comes to... Or liberal, I guess, in terms of like keeping cards um, in cases and stuff. I'll, I'll put these cards in cases and keep them nice. I... I know some people only pick out the, the high valuable ones, but I, I typically like to grab the kind of players I like and potential value down the road just to keep them nice right out of the package. They don't get bent up. Um, it's a little more expensive that way. I'm getting all the cases and sleeves and stuff, but all right. Let's see if we can get any decent cards in this pack. Kind of keeping an eye out. J.D. Martinez, not a bad card there. Just kind of keep an eye out for Mike Trout cards. I, I really feel like down the road, you know, 20 years from now, a lot of these Mike Trout cards would kind of be similar to um, Michael Jordan cards of my childhood, where just having a Michael Jordan card is, is really a good thing. There's a little throwback Brian Sandberg card. Never watching him play. Yasuo Puig, I think he's still looking for a, a home. Maybe he just got, I can't remember he got signed recently. Maybe he got signed on somewhere. All right, Sean Murphy rookie card right there. All right, making our way through this pack. Got some decent cards already. I'm actually, honestly, really happy about that uh, Kyle Lewis rookie card. Uh, I think... Being from Seattle and, and having, you know, Ken Griffey Jr. Um, growing up in his heyday, I really feel like I'm spoiled in terms of prospects that come up through the Mariner system, which has been few and far between. Although there was a heyday where we had an A-Raw that came up through our system, uh, Edgar Martinez, uh, Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, there's been some homegrown talent that we've had over the years, but it's, it's been a while since we've had someone that's come up through the system. So Kyle Lewis is that next guy that has a lot of expectations around his abilities. And I'm looking forward to seeing if he can develop those over the next few years. Um, again, I just there's certain cards I'm looking for that I keep that are more meaningful to me than maybe value. Um, hey, here's a card. It's let's we'll see what we got here. We got a little got a little hit. Ryan Zimmerman. Relic postseason card. This is kind of similar to the Ronald Acuna Jr. one that I got. Um, in one of these packs, the one that was the Ronald Acuna Jr. It was purple, and it had a, a piece of jersey and an autograph on it. Um, this one is 27 of 99, so not a bad card. Only 100, less than 100 of these made, so we'll put that in our pile over here. Nice little relic card there. Um, so, so far, I'm kind of pleased with what I've found. I've only, I've only opened, I think, four packs and I've gotten a, a decent cards in terms of things that I appreciate and like, 
in um, and ones that I keep in cases and stuff. So um, again, I, I just I enjoy this. This is something that is my wife kind of looks at me sometimes cross-eyed, thinking, "Why are you collecting cards again?" But you know what? I enjoy it. It's a hobby that I can do uh, any time of the year. And being in uh, Washington here, it gets kind of gloomy in the winter time. This is a nice indoor thing that you can do down the road and and uh, kind of a little treasure hunt in the middle of winter. So here's a Daniel Vogelbach. He's a big slugger. He's still kind of learning how to control his swing in the big leagues. I feel like there's going to be some good more some good cards in this this box still. I think I pull out a few good ones so far. And Ben Gamble, former Mariner. Here's a good throwback card, rookie card, Zach Galen. You know, I always throw the, some of the rookie cards aside to kind of just say, you know what, don't know if they're going to be uh, of any value down the road, but it's always worth throwing rookie cards in cases as, as long as I feel like they've had success in their rookie season. I will typically go ahead and I have a whole box dedicated to rookie cards. And I can go back and take them out of cases if they end up being a bust. But I'll usually throw them in a case just to keep them nice in case they have a, a breakout season a few years down the road and their rookie card becomes valuable. AJ Puck, up-and-coming pitcher for the A's. Division rival for the Mariners here. I guess everybody's a rival against the Mariners right now. They, Mariners are horrible, but allegedly they're rebuilding the team, so we'll say, hey, Shohei Otani. Again, another player that I've just put aside every card I get of theirs. I know it's a base card, but I typically put him aside and case that up um, and uh, make sure to keep it nice. Just don't know what his potential is going to end up lasting. A lot of the Japanese players that come over, you know, um, there's been a number of them that they end up doing pretty well. Ichiro is the great exa greatest example of that. Um so I don't, you never know. With and he's that dual player, which is unique. Christian Yelich, George Springer, home run challenge. So this is kind of interesting. Um, I've gotten a couple of these, and what you do is you go online to Tops and you scrape off the code and you enter it in. And what they let you do is you pick a day on the calendar. And you know, usually, obviously, you would want to go uh, on the calendar and see what day they're playing. But um, if they hit a home run on the day that you pick, then you're entered into the grand prize drawing. So um, for a trip to the 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby, it's like kind of cool. So George Springer is actually a really good one to do. So I'll set that aside. The challenge this year is I have one of these previously, and I picked the end of March, uh, not thinking that they would be um, playing by now. And obviously their season's delayed until further notice, but... Um, so there's two AJ Puck rookie cards. I'm going to kind of keep these now that I see two of them there. I'm going to kind of keep these separate over here and kind of keep card cases up a little bit. Um, but I, that first one that I, I was able to select, I picked the end of March and I, obviously that's not going to happen. So I think that was, uh, hobby Baez of the Cubs is what I got. So didn't get that one, but the George Springer one, maybe I'll pick later in the season. I'll wait until they decide they're going to do it the season all together. See, but those are kind of cool cards and give you a chance to potentially be entered into the drawing. Get rid of this little security card. All right. Can I go through here? David Price now with the Dodgers. I haven't seen the Bo Pichette. Um, there's a good up and coming Chicago player, Jimenez. I think he had 31 home runs last year. That's a, not a bad first season <laughs> as a rookie. So, again, it's not his true rookie card. It's just the tops honors. I think it's an all star, as I say. What does that say there? All star rookie. So, he made the all star team as a rookie. So, that's not a bad card, but I'll usually wait for the actual rookie card to card those up. Yeah, that's a, not a bad one there, too. So I'll probably keep that one over here. Just another rookie card to put in there. 
Johnny Cueto. Yeah. Ooh, that's a, not a bad card at all. This guy went off for, I think, about a month. He hit, um, he hit a bunch of home runs in a short amount of time. This, that was fun to watch, that kid. So that's a really good rookie card there. I'll probably case, I'll definitely case that up. Um, Freddie Freeman, great player. You know, it's encouraging about the game of baseball right now. There's a lot of good players uh, out there now. You know, back in the 80s, as I'm looking at baseball cards, you know, the quality of baseball back in the 80s was not nearly as, as good as it was now. Uh, a lot of players that I didn't even recognize back in the day that now there's so many superstars in the game, which is so fun to watch. Alex Colmley, again, former Mariner, former a lot of teams, I guess, but he played for the Mariners recently. So, but again, just enjoy going through these and just, you know, Brandon McKay, rookie card. He's an upcoming pitcher too. Um, Alex Smith, Mariners. A lot of rookie cards in these packs as well, which is encouraging too. They've done a good job of, you know, another rookie card there. They've done a good job of, of, sprinkling in variety in these packs as well. It's one thing I like about these packs. You feel like you're getting a good representation of different eras. Uh, Anthony Rendon. Oh, we got a little uh, Chrome card here. Contreras Chrome card. Don't know if it's going to be worth much. A bigger player probably be worth more. Chris Sale going to have Tommy John surgery. Unfortunate news for him. Great pitcher. Austin Nola, Aaron Nola's brother, plays for the Mariners. Rookie card there. We'll see how he does. He he kind of goes back and forth between um, first base and catcher. He I think he desires to be in the catching position. It's probably a stronger position. But we have a catcher already on the roster that's in that spot. So they're going to put him at first base this year and probably share time with Daniel Vogelbeck. Uh, Daniel Vogelbeck will also be probably the designated hitter as well. Halfway through, I probably should hurry up here. Another rookie card. That's the same one, but we got two of those. I like. I love that hit rate right there. Get a bunch of good rookie cards and different variations of them too. Austin Riley, future star. I feel like we're gonna get a Mike Trout card here pretty soon. I almost feel like I need to start predicting in a little bit. See if it will come up. Uh, there's another Chrome card here. Oh, J.D. Martinez. I'll put that aside. Nice stack here. George Springer. You know, interesting thing about George Springer, he has a, a bat that's called the Axe Handle. It's actually, I think it was uh, made here in Washington by a company that did it for him. So a unique end of the bat. Kind of gives a little more ergonomics to his hands. And what do you say right there? Mike Trout. Did I call it this pack? I felt like it was due for a Mike Trout card, so I'll put him aside. I have a few of those cards, but again, I typically like to um, collect Mike Trout cards and just put them away. Even right now, that card's probably worth a few dollars. You know, some people might just toss it in the base card collection and not really keep it. I typically keep all Mike Trouts separate, and a number of players fall in that category. I feel like we're going to get another hit here on this pack for some reason. I don't know why I feel like this card here. Yastrzemski, son or grandson of the Carl Yastrzemski. Yastrzemski, how do you pronounce that? Can't pronounce it very well. Um, I feel like, oh, Pete Alonzo, league leader. Great up-and-coming player as well. I feel like we're going to get a Bo Bichette here pretty soon. Let's see if I can't guess that one again. Jesus Lozardo, not a bad rookie card as well. Josh Harder, you know, I'm going to put this Lozardo card aside. Kind of like those uh, Decades Next cards as well. They're kind of unique. And last but not least, Nelson Cruz. You know what? Play for the Mariners for a stint. I really like Nelson Cruz. Nelly is a just timeless player. He plays the game the right way. You know, a lot of people speculate any player that 
is older and hits home runs and is big like he is that he's taking the steroids. But um, I really enjoyed watching Nelson Cruz. His power in his swing is so effortless. So, all right. So I think this is a pack we're going to get a Boba Shett rookie card. What do you think? I think we're due another great player for the Boston Red Sox. Up and coming. I think he's homegrown as well from their farm system. So kind of cool to watch that as well. I feel like we're going to get a Boba Shett. I don't know why I feel that way. This one feels like Mike Sor Soroka. Yeah, I feel it here. We're going to get one here in a couple of cards more. Maybe not, but another, maybe the next pack here. There's a Christian Yelich rainbow card. That's actually not a bad card. I'll put that aside as well. So you can see there's a pretty good um, pretty good hit rate with in terms of what I consider cards that I would I would sleeve up and keep to put in the collection to make sure. All right. But again, some of these cards only might be worth a few dollars, but you know what? I feel like it's part of the adventure of putting them away and seeing if they materialize into something more valuable down the road. Jacob DeGrom, a guy, another guy who's going to have Tommy John surgery and be out probably for the year. Not a bad year to probably do it, since it's probably going to be a half year anyways, given this whole coronavirus that's going on. This is definitely going to be a shortened season. And uh, Jay Bruce played for the Mariners as well for a short stint. It's a lot of former Mariners. I think you can take a lot of players that play other teams right now and put a pretty good team together that used to play for the Mariners. Jackie Robinson. You know, that's a cool card. I really like these 35th anniversary cards. Uh, again, I'm going to card that, case that up a little bit. Chapman of the, of the uh, A's. And let's see, the last card here is George Springer. Okay. I think we're almost about halfway through, maybe a little, I think we're right at halfway right now, maybe a little bit beyond halfway, but these packs aren't tearing open very nicely. All right. Maybe we'll get a Boba Shett rookie card, or maybe we'll get another Anthony K rookie card there. Maybe we'll get another um, Mike Trout. I feel like there's going to be another uh, good card in this pack. We're getting down to the towards the end of the box here. Steven Strasburg, great pitcher. Enjoy watching him. Mark McGuire, 90s best decade hitter. Pete Alonzo, not a bad card there. Kyle Schwarzberger. So... Not a bad pack. Didn't get anything really big in that one. Gonna keep moving along here. I know this is probably turning into a long video, but I want to get this. Kind of give you a chance to see the cards. There we go. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Watch his dad play as well. Kelt. Uh, Catel Marte, you know, played as a Mariner, but then he just went down to Arizona and took off. Like, he had a great season last year. I think last year he had over 30 home runs. 32 home runs, 92 RBIs. Not a bad for a shortstop um, or second baseman. He, he did not do that here in Seattle. <laughs> not even close. So, so Mitch Hanniger, Juan Soto, great player coming up. Young player, too. Luke Jackson, Rainbow Card, Kristen Yelich. I'll probably do that one. I like Kristen Yelich. All right. Not bad. Got a couple more packs to go. Actually, got quite a few more packs to go. But it's going to be a, over a 30 minute video. Sorry, my first video. So I'm going to learn how to do this quicker. If you're already asleep or bored out of your gourd, but. I still enjoy watching these. Oops, I just ruined a card right there doing that. These bags are not opening very nice. Hopefully that first card is not anything valuable. Jason Kipnis. There's the Boba Shet right there. I knew we were going to get one. Did I ruin that tip of that? Nope. 
just the first card got a little nicked. But the second one's fine. So there's a Boba Shet right there. That is a great rookie card right there. I got a few of those. Those would be worth something. He's a great player, too. He's got that charisma and Fernando Tatis Jr., another great player right there. Not his rookie card, but rookie all-star. Domingo Santana, no longer with the Mariners. Yeah, Torres is a great player for the Yankees as well. Yankees are going to be great with with Garrett Cole as well. Just hope they can get up and running here pretty soon. Wilson Contreras, catcher. Chris Davis, home run machine. There we go. So Bubba Shett rookie card came out of that pack. It's not bad at all. The tops of these packages are not turning, they're not opening like I usually open them. So I try to be careful with the packs, not bending corners when I open things. So, all right. Dustin May, rookie card. We got a big afro going on there. It's not bad. I like the afro. All right. Let's see here. Marco Gonzalez, one of our best pitchers in the marriage right now. He's a solid player. Um, Gene Segura, another former Mariner, went to the Phillies. Max Scherzer. It's kind of a unique card right there. This is Tops. Oh, it's a numbered card. There we go. So that's a that's a short print. So that's going to go in the deck here for the card we found. Actually, I've never had that. In all the packs I've received, I have never had the little symbol up top there. And you can see here it is numbered 8 of 99. So that is a great card right there as well. Anything numbered is always worth keeping. Again, this is what I like of these new packs of cards. They really do a good job of making you feel like, hey, you know what? You got some limited edition cards um, in this versus back in the 80s and 90s. It was all just mass-produced cards. Sorry, I had to get my legs in a different situation there. All right. Almost through here. Justin Turner, a great player. Juan Soto again. Lou Gehrig, Diamond Cut. That's a great card there, too. I'll definitely... These are kind of neat cards. They, they've done some... Again, the variation I really like. They've done some pretty good designs. They changed up a little bit. Um, this one's not numbered, but I just enjoy these Diamond Cut cards. I've gotten a few of these, so that's not a bad card. I'll put that in my stack over here. And then we have our... Nelson Cruz, again, one of my favorite players out there in, in baseball. Enjoy watching him. Got only a few more packs left, and we are almost done with this, so bear with me. Okay. Let's see if we can get some good hits in these last few packs. There's a rookie card there again. Yeah, I don't know all the pitchers as well as the batters. They tend to, pitchers become more like a dime a dozen sometimes. You know, to go Molina. It's a rookie card there. Who we got here? Ah, oh, we got Omar Navarez. Rainbow card, but he doesn't play for the Mariners anymore, so I'll just keep that in the stack here. Chavez. All right. It's so nothing too exciting in that one. Got only a couple more packs left. Yeah, these packs are not opening like the way I want them to. All right. Gonna hopefully get a Manny Machado. There's a bad car right there. This guy's up and coming. I think he. This is the 
minor league totals last year. So I might just put that aside for a rookie card. Mondesi, I watched his dad play as well. I feel like we're going to get a good hit here. Justin Verlander, Brock Holt. Oh, there's a Shohei Otani. I always keep his cards no matter what. Kikuchi, he had a tough rookie season. They kind of pushed him into the starting role a little early, but you know what? He did okay. I think it's kind of a bummer that this year is going to have to be a restart. Kind of needed. He needed a full year in spring training and off season at the major league level. I think coming over from Japan is a little bit of a transition for all those players to adjust to Major League Baseball. It's a little bit different than how they play over there. Longer seasons, I think the quality of players across the board are just different. So I am struggling with these packs tonight, so I apologize for that. Let's get rid of the security card there. Anthony Rendon, Josh Bell. I feel like we're gonna get, oh, there's a Gavin Lux rookie card right there. So there we go. Okay, I'm going to show you, do a little recap on the ones we got that were decent cards, in my opinion. Again, everybody has their own little filter that they're using when they're doing these things. Here we get here, J.D. Martinez. I like that card. Put that in the pen stack as well. And... Ooh. All right, so we got, I think, three more packs to go, and we are done. Again, not a bad box for the price. And we kind of showed you we got some decent cards out of this as well. So Matt Chapman, Gary Sanchez, always a good card there. There's a Ronald Acuna Jr. It's another player that I will probably end up starting to keep um, just because he is a, a great player. I think he's going to do great things in his career, so it's going to be great to keep those cards. Um, even though the base cards aren't worth, again, all that much, I still typically keep them to each his own. Bob Gibson, a throwback card there. Juan Soto. Got a couple more cards here. Michael Pineda. He's back with the Mariners, too. Started the Mariners, traded him away to Arizona, then went to the Twins, and now he's back with the Mariners. Had to go through Tommy John surgery as well in his career, so he had some setbacks, but he is poised to come back here and kind of redeem himself from what we thought he would be when he was here. So we'll see. Robinson Cano, again, former Mariner, Yankee. And Aaron Judge this is a good card. I always keep his as well. I think he's going to do amazing things in his career, pending no major in injuries. Always, that's always the bugaboo in any sport is how much injuries play a role in players staying healthy enough to accumulate the stats to be relevant. There's another home run challenge with Josh Bell. That's not a bad card either to put on a little stack. So we have, we have George Springer and we have Josh Bell as our home run challenge. So those are good cards to have. And perfect. And last pack of our 24-pack box. So we'll see if we can get a good hit in this one as well. We get that one Relic card so far. That's all we got in this pack. So I think there only really is one per pack. Um, so we'll see if we get anything else in this one before we end this session here. Stevens Roxburgh World Series card. And I think we're going to kind of strike out on this, this last pack, it looks like. There's a gold card. There's a Bobachette rookie card. Hey, we'll take that. That's not a bad card off the last pack. And that does it. So, again, that last card was a Bobachette rookie card. Pretty well centered all around. Centering's pretty good. I think they're both it's pretty good centered from front and back. So, oh, again, got a lot of good hits um, on that 
on that one. The, the relic card was, again, the Ryan Zimmerman postseason card. Not autographed, but it was 27 of 99. And we also got the, I believe it was the, um, was it the Max Scherzer? Yeah, you can see it right there. This one right here. Max Scherzer, and this is a short print of 8 of 99. So that is a good card as well. So you got two numbered cards and a bunch of rookie cards. Bobochette, got a couple of those. Um, Shohei Otani, got a Mike Trout. So again, not a bad deal. And then again, these home run cards, these are cool. I got two of these in here that allow you to fill those out on the website and put those codes in there and enter in to hopefully win. If they hit a home run on the date you pick, you get entered into the grand prize to go to the Home Run Derby. Kind of one of those bucket list things to do. So, all right, again, thank you for watching. i probably going to do this a few more times, kind of get my rhythm down. But, uh, again, thank you for watching, and until next time.